guys, it's Mimi. Today I would like to talk about a medical condition called the mega esophagus. Please note that I am not a vet, so if you have any questions or doubts, please call your own vet. The mega esophagus is a condition where a part of the esophagus becomes abnormally enlarged and food might get piled up in it. And if you're lucky, the food passes very slowly, but in the worst case scenario, food gets stuck and you need to call a vet to get it out again. The mega esophagus is a chronic condition, which means that it will get worse over time and more frequently, food will get stuck in the esophagus. Moreover, it cannot be cured. It is rarely seen in warm blood horses and thoroughbred horses, but quite common in the cold blood horses. So if you have a Frisian or another cold blood breed, this video might be very interesting for you. So now let's watch one of the horses of our stable who has the condition and compare it to a horse that does not have the condition. And let's see what it looks like and how we can manage the condition and help these horses. As you can see, the horse is swallowing his food and we can hardly see anything passing the esophagus. This horse has the condition and we can immediately see food piled up in the abnormally enlarged area. Luckily the food is slowly passing. Now let's compare the two horses. On the left the horse with the mega esophagus condition and on the right a horse with a normal esophagus. At the left side we can clearly see the abnormally enlarged esophagus. On the right we can clearly see there's no enlargement. Firstly we need to change the feeding to muesli. This because pellets can double and sometimes even triple in size with water, or in this case saliva. When the pellets pile up in the abnormally enlarged area, they will expand before finally passing through. This increases the chance of actual obstructions. Hay needs to be fed in hay nets. The smaller the bites, the more they will chew and the less likely hay will get stuck in the esophagus. Don't forget to change the stable bedding to wood shavings. Horses tend to eat straw and we don't want the straw to cause the obstruction. Is your horse still having obstructions? Now it's time to replace all muesli and hay with a special mash. This mash completely replaces muesli and hay while still providing your horse with the right fibers, minerals and vitamins. If necessary, you can still add powder or liquid supplements to the mash. But no more treats such as apples or carrots. So even though we can't cure the condition, we can help these horses live happily ever after. Thank you for watching the video and please don't forget to like and follow my page. Thank you, see you next time, bye bye!